everyone. Welcome back to Knowledge Heals. Today, we're diving into an essential topic in mathematics, linear inequalities. This chapter is crucial as it forms the foundation for understanding more complex mathematical concepts and has numerous real life applications. So let's get started. An inequality is a mathematical statement that compares two expressions using inequality symbols. Unlike equations, which show equality, inequalities show that one expression is greater than or less than another. The symbols we use are less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. When solving linear inequalities in one variable, we follow similar steps to solving equations, but we must remember the rules of inequalities. For example, adding or subtracting the same number from both sides of an inequality does not change the inequality. However, if we multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, we must reverse the inequality sign. Let's look at an example. Solve 3x minus 5 less than 7. Step 1, add 5 to both sides where 3x is less than 12. Step 2, divide both sides by 3 where x is less than 4. We can also represent solutions to inequalities on a number line. For x less than 4, we draw an open circle at 4 and shade all numbers to the left of 4, indicating that these are the solutions. If the inequality were x less than or equal to 4, we would use a closed circle at 4 to include 4 in the solutions. In two variables, a linear inequality looks like a x plus bioe less than or equal to c. To solve this, we first graph the corresponding equation ax plus by equal to c, which is a straight line. This line divides the plane into two half planes. We then determine which half plane satisfies the inequality by choosing a test point. For example, solve the x plus 2yi less than or equal to 6. Step 1, graph the line x plus 2y equal to 6. Step 2, choose a test point like 0, 0. Substitute into the inequality where 0 plus 2, 0, less than or equal to 6, which is true. So the half plane containing 0, 0 is shaded. System of linear inequalities in two variables. When solving a system of inequalities, we graph each inequality on the same set of axes and find the region where all shaded areas overlap. This overlapping region contains the solutions to the system. For instance, Solve the system x plus y less than or equal to 5, x minus pi greater than or equal to 1. Graph both inequalities and shade the appropriate regions. The intersection of these regions is the solution. Applications of linear inequalities. Linear inequalities are used in various fields like economics and business to represent constraints. For example, a company might want to maximize profit while staying within budget limits. Formulating these constraints as inequalities helps in finding feasible solutions. Let's solve a practical example. A factory produces two products, A and B. Each product requires different amounts of resources. Formulate and solve the inequalities to maximize production while staying within resource limits. Word problems involving linear inequalities. Word problems require us to translate given conditions into inequalities. For example, a school is organizing a field trip and needs at least 40 students to participate, but no more than 80. Write and solve an inequality for the number of students. Yeah, who can go on the trip? Inequality, 40 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 80. This tells us that the number of students must be between 40 and 80 inclusive. To summarize, we've covered the basics of inequalities how to solve and graph them, systems of inequalities, and their real-life applications. Remember the key rules, especially when dealing with negative numbers. Practice is essential, so refer to the exercises in your NCERT textbook to strengthen your understanding. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this session on linear inequalities helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Knowledge Heals for more educational content. Stay tuned for our next chapter, where we will explore more fascinating mathematical concepts. Until then, happy learning.